Welcome to Panama. Panama is a beautiful country just above South America and Central America. And it's known for a lot of things. One of the things it's known for is having beautiful coffee called Geisha coffee. The coffee here tastes like berries, blueberries, all kinds of wonderful things like that. Now our goal today is to go to the three best coffee shops in Panama City. We're looking for third wave, locally Panamanian sourced coffee, Geisha coffee, things like that. So the first place we're going to is called Cafe Unaro. Now this is sort of like your most famous cafe. Ah, this is one of the coffee places we're gonna come back to later. This is Tiempo Coffee, one of the better coffee places in Panama. So the three coffee places we're gonna be going to over the next three days are Unado, Tiempo, Paddle Coffee. Apparently these are the best of the best. If you're a coffee lover, hopefully you're gonna enjoy watching this video as much as I'm gonna create it, assuming it goes well in the creation process. So far so good, very Instagrammable. So here we are at the cafe, very beautiful. And coming inside, wow. It's absolutely gorgeous in here. Lots of natural wood, steel beams painted black with large, massive bay doors over here. And there's also a second area upstairs. So you can tell this is where the foreigners like us go. So the staff here was nice enough to tell me that this behind the glass box is the geisha coffee. That's the famous coffee that this area is known for. And they also have hot sauce. So get your coffee and your hot sauce here. I'm gonna do the geisha if you have it. So there's no microphone on her, so you can't hear that exactly, but she wants you to try it hot, medium, and cold. Look at this coffee, beautiful coffee. So this is the Unados Geisha coffee, which was rated the best coffee in the world. I forgot to ask who rated it the best coffee in the world. I think I can take my mask off now. He said pineapple shells, berries, and some other word I don't remember. But we're gonna try what is apparently the best coffee in the entire world and see what it's like. You guys are gonna get to join me. So let's go ahead and do the pour here. I'm not gonna put too much in because the idea here is to try it when it's really hot, when it's medium, and when it is cold. So we're gonna try all three variations. So here is the first one when it is very hot. Okay, mm-hmm, I get it. That's awesome. I have people in my life, like Mook, who's been on my channel before, I'll put one of her videos up there. She hates coffee. Now the reason she hates coffee is because she's drinking coffee in Thailand. She's drinking the kind of stuff that you get at 7-Eleven, right? Not coffee. This is the real deal. This tastes incredible. It doesn't taste like coffee. It's fruity. It has lots of berries. It has a ton of pineapple in there. A little bit of acid, but not much. It still has some of the roasted notes. Very sweet. They said, do not put milk and sugar in this. And I totally agree. Not that I would do that anyway. I like my coffee super dark. I did a whole video about Geisha coffee on my channel, and I'll also link that up there that you can watch where we taste tested real Geisha coffee versus Black Rifle Coffee and Starbucks Coffee. Uh, no comparison. But you gotta admit, that is really special, being able to look out and see these buildings and feel like you're part of Panama. Panama is actually not the biggest coffee producer in the world. It's only, uh, I think, number 30. So there are other bigger hitters in coffee, but Panama is known for having the best coffee. All right, welcome back. This is day two in Panama looking for the best coffee that you can get while you're visiting this coffee-rich country. So we're crossing the border right now over from the kind of more humble side of Casco Viejo and going over to the newer touristy, technically called the old town, you know, the ritzy part of town. So we're gonna walk down there, Tiempo Coffee, Tiempo Cafe. You can really see how this area changes, right? Here we have kind of rundown building over there. We have some kind of government building. Then back there, you see these wonderful, expensive luxury buildings. Let's see over on this side is the old church. And here we have the American Trade Hotel. All right, so we're gonna go inside and see what the coffee is all about. All right, so we finally made it in to the hotel. This is what you think of when you think luxury Central America. I mean, this view right here, is spectacular, look at that, it's unbelievable. So the menus are back there behind the glass. There's all kinds of little pastries here. Empanada, dolce de leche. Can I do the geisha? You can't tell me that you haven't seen a hotel that looks nicer than this. It's unbelievable here. Here we go. 
This is one of the world's best coffees, Geisha Coffee, here at this incredible hotel. And I have it all to myself because COVID, no one's here. So I'm able to do all my stupid selfies and do my video and not really bother too many people. But we have the world's best coffee at one of the world's most beautiful coffee shops. This rivals things I've seen in Japan. It rivals things that I've seen in LA and San Francisco. Right here is the place. So it's still hot. I'm gonna try it when it's hot, when it's medium, and when it's cold. So first when it's hot. The thing is about Geisha coffee, very much like tea, but not like when you have watered down coffee and it tastes like tea water coffee. This actually has the notes and the flavors that you get out of a green tea, like jasmine, grassy notes, really awesome. This one doesn't have the same berry kick, the same pineapple tones that I got from Unado's coffee, but it is very refreshing. It's very incredibly smooth. It tastes like it has milk in it when there is no milk in here. Now the vibe here is very different. This is your nice upscale luxury hotel that has nice stuff as opposed to, you know, the little coffee shop that could. So you're coming here for the ambiance. You're coming here to have a beautiful place to meet a friend, meet a coworker. It's very relaxing here and very Instagrammable, obviously. See a shirt where it says, wow? That's about how I'm feeling right now. Well, that's it for our second location, Tiempo Coffee here in Panama. Tomorrow, we're gonna wake up extra early to go to our last of three at Paddle Coffee. If you like this kind of content, obviously, then you can subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications when there's more travel, food, and perspective videos from me, Mark if you couldn't tell by the channel name. So you might be wondering why I'm standing outside of a tire shop in the middle of Panama. Well, the reason is right over here is Paddle Coffee Roasters in Panama using Panama beans and Geisha coffee. I'm excited to go in and try this with you guys, see uh, what it's all about, see if it's any good, and see if this is the best coffee in Panama. They have foods, toast, biscuits, sandwiches, melt, snacks, coffee and not coffee. I'm curious what the paddle soda is. That sounds interesting. Well, here's the boat from which the paddle came. A guy named here named Sebastian. Apparently. He showed up, hey man. All right, so we got the Geisha coffee here at Paddle Coffee, and you have to look at these cups, man. These cups are wild. They're the most interesting cups I've ever seen at a coffee shop. They're like tea cups, but they're double walled and insulated, so they hold the heat really well. We'll see what's going on with it. Okay, whoa. That is Geisha coffee for sure. There is a pineapple explosion going on in my mouth right now. Very fruity, a lot of berry notes, a ton of pineapple, like I said. Nice roast to it, very sweet, very smooth. A lot of tea notes in there, just like a jasmine tea or a green tea. Where does it come from? Panama. So that's Panamanian yeah. coffee. All right. So uh, Geisha coffee is actually the most expensive coffee in the world. Oh, okay and won the gold medal in best tasting coffee. I was kind of thinking of the, about the Olympics and if they won like a gold medal in the Olympics <laughs> for the coffee. Get some geisha, get to Panama. I went to Tiempo's Coffee, Cafe Unados, and Paddle Coffee. I'm actually right now back in Cafe Unado because out of all three coffee places, this was by far my absolute favorite. The Geisha coffees at all the locations were good. This place was so good, was so outstanding that it really makes sense that this was rated the best coffee in the world. Actually, I ordered another Geisha coffee, so it's coming. So this would be my second day having it here, and I'll probably be coming back a lot more. As far as prices go, I'll recap. Cafe Unado was $10 for the Geisha pour over. We had Tiempo's coffee, which was $9 for the pour over, and Paddle coffee, which I believe was $9 for the pour over as well. We've got a lot more videos here in Panama coming up soon. So if you like this kind of travel and food and perspective content, be sure to subscribe. Also, next week going to El Salvador. So there's gonna be a bunch of videos there. I don't know what's gonna happen, we'll see. 
heard there's some good food. There's the El Zante Beach, which is amazing. And if you're watching this in the future, then I'll put the link to all those things up there above me in the little box. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I just went on live stream and I talked with so many of you and I'm so humbled and thankful that you're following my channel. Um, I really hope that things are going well for you and you're being productive and you're making strides in your life. And if you are, you know, please share them with me. I want to hear from you guys. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you next week.